What a nice day. It is a great temperature out here. It's either going to rain or it's going to be very humid today. It's going to be a good day, right, Diesel? What do you say? I think it's going to be a fantastic day, man. The weather is just perfect. The clouds in the air look very white and puffy. It's very nice that there's a squirrel over there. That means it's going to be a good day. It's right over there. He's my friend. His name is George. Just got my Timmy's. We've got to throw out yesterday's Timmy's. Got myself a donut for breakfast. A strawberry cheesecake ring filled donut. It's like a filled donut, but it's still, it's a regular with a donut hole in the middle. But the whole thing is filled. I know, Tim Horton's magic. It's amazing. Can I get out this way? Well, not if I hit that person. Let's not hit that person. Okay. I think I can get out this way. A little bit of a wet morning. Maybe just right there. Like I said, all these guys here, they're working on the water water lines here all summer. So like, we got this black hose that runs along the side of the street here. And then it goes across intersections like that. And they got like uh, little protective barriers that you got to drive over, sort of like speed bumps. And maybe one of them leaked, I don't know. We're on our way in. Uh, my assignment for today is I have to take three empty step decks to Rosenort. So back and forth and back and forth today. That'll be my day. And back and forth one more time. Let's get this show on the road. We've hooked onto a 53 foot step deck tandem. We've charged it with air. I'm just going to make sure that the air is making it through to the trailer bags. Slowly it is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna take a little while. The compressor on my truck up there is a, a little slow sometimes, it seems. All the trailers filled up with premium summer air. all looking good fantastic yeah so uh i gotta bring three of these trailers like i was saying over to rosenort which is how far away is rosenort from here i'm gonna have to check uh, half hour 40 minutes one way Go back and forth yeah so uh brit and i went and uh, we got our second dose of moderna yesterday feeling perfectly fine today i don't even really have a sore arm the first shot i had a sore arm the next couple of days I feel perfectly normal today. I woke up, I felt energized. I got a great sleep. I actually had a pretty deep sleep. Uh, feeling great. Let's go trucking. I kind of thought I'd be half dead today. Man, with all of the uh, social media is crazy. You know, with everything out there, you know, they make it sound like, oh, you're gonna be crippled for, for weeks afterwards or even die perfectly fine. Uh, some people have a little bit more uh, mild reactions or so to it, and, uh, but both shots, I felt perfectly fine and energized the next day. So there's that. Why are my lights... Okay, we're good. <laughs> I thought I forgot to hook up, hook up something. Uh, oh, hey, oh, all right. Okay. Let's pull this skateboard, this big old wagon deck, wagon flatbed. See, here we call them flat decks. In the US, they call them flat beds. But to me, I sleep in a bed. A bed is where you sleep. A deck is a flat surface where you put stuff or where you sit. Like I built a deck in front of my house. Very proud of it. Now I'm pulling a deck behind my truck. Also very proud of it. <laughs> Come with me, my friend. We're going to Rosenort. Let's 
gonna get loaded up with farm equipment. Who knows where it's gonna go? Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop up here by the gate. I wanna figure out how far Rosenort is from here exactly. You have 12 hours and 52 minutes of remaining drive time. Well, thank you. Thank you for keeping me informed. It's always good to be informed. Stop here. How far away is Rosenor? Speak to me, you all-knowing thing in my head. I had a terrible dream. I just remembered. I had a dream this last night that I had, uh, I was on my bicycle and I had Diesel with me for some reason and he was walking beside me and then all of a sudden it got dark really fast and it was nighttime and I didn't want to bicycle at nighttime and I was in Blumenor for some reason. And I had to get home, but I couldn't get home, and Britt was at work where she used to work, at the diner. And I couldn't get a hold of her to let her know I needed a ride. And so I went to some stranger's house and knocked on the door and asked if they'd give me a ride, and they said they would. And then I dropped my phone on the cement in their driveway, and it broke my, my screen. It was all cracked. And I was so mad. <laughs> It was a bad day. Rosenor is 60 kilometers from here. That's about 40 minutes. All right. Yeah, what a crazy dream that was. I just remembered I picked up my phone now. I half expected it to be all broken because it was so real in the dream. But no, no new cracks. I got, I got some small cracks on my screen. It's the first time I've ever cracked a smartphone. But it's just in the bottom corner there. You know, I'll show you one second. One second. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right in the corner here, there's some hairline cracks. Can you see it? Never in my life have I cracked a phone before. So it was awful. To Rosenort we go. That's about broke my neck getting out of the truck today. <laughs> got out of the got out of the truck, stepped onto the steps, and the steps weren't there to support me. They're here now, but I'm being very cautious. So uh, there was a weld up here. That according to our uh, What's his title? Shop foreman or shop boss? One of the shop guys that I talked to there said that it uh, was probably done improperly. It should have been an overlap weld. I'm not a mechanic. I, I'm not a welder. I don't know what that is really. But I secured it here for now. So the steps are like you saw me get out of the truck. Steps are okay for now. I'm going to get it back to the shop. And uh, they're going to look at it tonight. Get that fixed freaked me out a little bit you know you, you expect the steps to be there you know you don't even think about it you open the door you get out you step onto the steps and they're there I stepped onto the steps and it, it swung whoo, right down good thing I had three points of contact I had my one hand on here and I had another hand on the door here so when the steps gave out I caught myself and uh, I didn't actually fall but I could have so I say I almost broke my neck I, uh, I almost fell out where I could have broken my neck. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. They're going to fix it up and uh, make sure that that doesn't happen again. I'm going to be a little leery getting out of the truck for a while now. <laughs> just you know, sort of dip your toe in the water, you know, and sort of just test it out a little bit first. <laughs> I don't know why it was... I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. Trailer number one is here. It's going to get loaded up like that with stuff like that going to a better place, somewhere where it will be much more useful. I'm guessing some farmer somewhere is waiting for our stuff. So the trailer's here, Mr. Farmer. They're gonna load it up and we're gonna get it to you as soon as possible. I got two more trailers to bring here. Let's go. Let's uh, take it easy on this, okay? Here, let me, uh, 
Let me put you there. Okay? Three points going there. One here, one here. Get ready for it to give out. Yeah. It's not gonna fall now. Now I got it strapped on there real tight. It'll be uh, a temporary fix until we can properly get that looked at at our shop. That's all we're gonna do today. Got those three trailers moved over there. Definitely feeling uh, feeling the shot a little bit more this afternoon than I was this morning. This morning, this morning I woke up with uh, an abundance of energy. I slept a little long, uh, but I, I felt rested and awake, and I still do. I feel like I have a lot of energy, but my skin has uh, gotten a little bit sensitive. My my uh, shoulders got a little more sore, and uh, my joints are a little bit. Uh, a little bit sore, but uh, those are all common from what uh, I've read and heard and from everybody else here. In Canada here, 80% of people have already gotten their first, and I think, what are we at for our second? Like 60 to 70%, I think, have gotten second. So it's very common to have this kind of effect. So I got my work done for the day, and uh, I'm going to load myself back up in my pickup, head home, and have a nap, I think. See how Britt's feeling today. She was a little uh, more rough this morning than I was, but uh, overall, I think she's been improving throughout the day, and I'm still doing all right too. Probably just I just don't feel like running a marathon right now, but <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys with me here. And uh, all right, so that's careful, <laughs> careful. <laughs> that's how we got it jimmied up there right now. And they're gonna take it into the shop uh, as soon as I get my stuff out of here and fix this up. And instead of just doing like a, a single weld like that, they're gonna do, uh, well, either replace the whole thing or do a, uh, what's it called again? A proper weld, a proper fix that it, you know, I don't break my neck falling out of my truck. <laughs> All right, let's uh, grab our stuff here. And put it in the pickup over there. I did take the pickup in this morning because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel this afternoon. From what I've heard, uh, people say that the second shot uh, gives you more uh, side effects or whatever uh, than the first one. The first one I felt nothing. I went to work the next day. I was perfectly fine. And today for most of the day too. And I don't want to over exaggerate, but yeah, it's just like my, I feel a little, hmm. Sensitive. My body is learning something new right now, right? Learning something new. So we're going to go home and relax and let it do its thing. We'll feel better tomorrow. All right. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. How dare I try to go without these? Oh, they're hot. Oh, yes. Oh, slowly. Okay. It's a hot one, okay. 34 Celsius. Man. Unrelenting heat this summer. Maybe I just, I notice it more because I'm, I'm home every day now this summer usually i'm out on the road and you know it's hard for me to uh recognize weather patterns when i'm in a different region every day <laughs> on the road so now that i'm home i'm like wow is summer always this hot yikes thought this was canada no doubt we're gonna be growing palm trees here in no time give us a decade or two and this will be nice palm tree tropics and I don't have to go anywhere to see palm trees. I can just go outside my front door. I mean, that would mean everything south of us would be a desert. So, I mean, maybe maybe that's not a good thing to wish for. But hey, our, our weather would be nice. Summers would be unrelenting, though. It's just that the sun is up for so long here, right? The sun never leaves us alone. So it's just constantly beating down. And in wintertime, we hardly see the sun. So, ah, uh, weather be weather. Who knows what's going on, eh? Who knows? Only a very select few amount of people actually know what's going on. <laughs> and I'm one of them. Off we go. Kinda glad I didn't take the motorcycle today. I mean, I think it would have felt good to be on the road in this heat, but uh, with my skin feeling a little bit sensitive, uh, it, it'd probably be a little uncomfortable. We'll take it tomorrow, maybe. I still have uh, very, very mild 
uh, reactions to it than a lot of people I've talked to. Takes a little bit of time and effort for my body to learn how to do something, you know? I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I'm getting up there. I'm now a middle-aged man, right? I'm 33. Is that considered middle? That's middle age, right? I am no longer of the young ones. So if I'm right, I really am middle aged now. Hey, look, there goes my dad. Hey, what's? Didn't see me. Didn't see me. He's just getting back from a from a trip. He got hung up in Minnesota last night. A tire blew out on his trailer. He's getting home today. And uh, a good update though. It looks like my mom is going to be released from hospital tomorrow. That's why dad's rushing home right now. He's probably just got a one-track mind. Mom's coming home tomorrow. <laughs> well, I guess for him it would be his wife. She's my mom, not his mom. You know what I meant. But yeah, she's being, uh, as far as we know, she's being released from the hospital tomorrow. She is uh, going to complete her recovery at home. And uh, I know I've been kind of vague about about her she was very very sick in the ICU for a while uh, and she's been recovering faster than anyone thought and the doctors are all blown away and the nurses are all blown away with how fast her recovery's been and uh, of course I want to say thank you to all of you who are praying out there I know you were, you had little to go on I haven't been sharing a lot that's mostly because I want to sit down with my mom and ask her if it's okay if I if I share the whole story I, mean, I run a YouTube channel with a substantial following uh, my videos end up in many, many places around the world, and I always like to try to do my best to make sure that anyone who's included in my vlog and in my story, and uh, if I include anyone else's story, my, that, that, you know, that they have given me permission, that they're okay with it. So, uh, I can tell you now that there's, there's we're really excited. I'll probably be going there tomorrow after work if she's home and uh, probably giving her the the biggest hug I've ever given her you know we almost lost her so there is good news on the horizon things are looking up but the reason I was so vague mainly was because I, I do believe in the power of of collective consciousness of prayer of uh, positive energy whatever word you want to use for it I believe in that when a large amount of people focus their attention energy prayers and thoughts towards something that it makes a difference I mean, you may think I'm crazy for saying that but I truly do believe in that 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 is a thing that we can affect things in this world when we collectively focus on it and that's that's why I mentioned it in my video a little bit that she was in dire need of that prayer positive energy and focused collective attention and uh, you know what she has a lot of friends around the world too and together with you guys who are also all around the world too uh, she recovered from her sickness faster like I told you than any doctor expected better than any doctor expected and yes part of the reason for that is that she was already very healthy she was she's a she's never drank she doesn't drink she doesn't smoke she's always eaten very healthy and taking care of her physical health so that when she does get sick you know her body is ready to fight it and uh, that is definitely plays probably the biggest role here was that she was healthy to begin with and had no underlying conditions, nothing like that, and uh, her body was able to fight it. But I do believe that it helps. The collective focused energy, the prayers, the thoughts, everything helps. So I want to say thank you to everybody who did, who did send their prayers, did send their thoughts, or even just focus some positive energy our way. 